everybody, a beautiful little champs. Welcome to India's first animator live tuition. I hope everyone is doing great, isn't it? Yes, and I'm so much happy to hear that from you guys. So I'm here with the assertion and recent type of question, and which is again from the chapter three metals and non-metals. And the most important thing is you cannot skip this kind of questions because it plays an important role in the question paper. So never ever skip this part. Okay, now let's get into the uh, instruction they are given over here. So as we know, they will provide an assertion and followed by a reason. All you have to do is just read the assertion and reason as well and check whether the given statements are true or not. Okay. Finally, you have to check whether the given reason is the correct explanation for the assertion or not. And we have one more step. What is that? Choose the correct option given over here and one mark is in your pocket. Okay, shall we do it then? Of course. So let's get into the first one. Assertion. Aluminum oxide Al2O3 is an amphoteric oxide. Is that true? What do you think? Of course, aluminum oxide is an example for amphoteric oxide. Can you give me one more example? Let me check how many of you remember that actually. Okay, zinc oxide. Very good. Zinc oxide is an again example for the amphoteric oxide. And let me read out the reason for you. Amphoteric oxides are those which react with the acid as well as bases. Of course, that is the explanation for the amphoteric oxide. Amphoteric oxides are nothing but a metal oxide which will be having a exceptional properties. They can react with the acid as well as base to form salt and water. And the given option over here, the given example over here is Al2O3 which can act as acid as well as base. Or it can react with HCl as well as NaOH. In other words, acid and base. And they can form salt and water. Ta-da! These are called the amphoteric oxide. Now let's get back to the question. Okay. So, assertion is correct. Reason is again correct. And reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. Which will fall into the option A. Am I right? Both assertion and reason are true. And reason is the correct explanation for the assertion. A is the correct answer. Yes. I hope you got it. And the second question. Assertion. Calcium when put in water starts floating on the surface of water. We already saw the beautiful animation in our class, right? Remember? Yes. Calcium will float over the surface of water. Yes. Assertion is correct. And reason. Calcium has low density than water. Was that the correct reason? No. Reason is wrong. No. Reason is not the correct reason. No. Reason is incorrect. And what is the correct reason for the assertion? Because when a calcium reacts with water, they will produce salt and hydrogen gas or calcium hydroxide and what our hydrogen gas so hydrogen gas will be acting as a life saver or life jacket which will cover the surface of the calcium which will help to float over the surface of water i hope you remember that concept from our class right yes so the given statement reason is incorrect assertion is correct so which one will be the correct option? Assertion is true, but the reason is false, which is nothing but our option C. Very good. Well guessed. Good job, kiddos. Now the last one, assertion. Solid sodium chloride does not conduct electricity, whereas molten sodium chloride does. Yes, that's correct, right? Solids, if they are in a solid state, they cannot conduct electricity. Why? Because the ions inside that the ionic compound which will be held together by a strong electrostatic force of attraction they cannot be separated in the solid form but when they heat it it becomes turn into it turns into a liquid or in the molten state where the ions are free to move and they conduct electricity and the reason molten sodium chloride is in liquid form. Yes, that is again correct. Assertion is true and reason is again true. But the given reason is not the correct explanation for the assertion, which will fall into the option of B. Assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation for the assertion. Okay, so we'll be having more assertion and reason type of question, which we will discuss in the class. If you want more 
those kind of questions join us okay and i hope everything is clear for everyone if you feel any further doubts you are free to ask okay so thank you so much kiddos i'll see you in another video until then take care and bye